to Baltimore, OCDF Strike Force, and that's kind of an unwieldy acronym, but uh, the idea behind it is simple. We've got 18 law enforcement agencies who are working together, but we're taking the principle that we all work better together uh, one step further. Not only are we going to be working together, we're creating a strike force that's going to be housed in one location within the city limits. So it's not just uh, FBI, ATF, DEA, U.S. Marshals, Secret Service picking up the phone or scheduling meetings to go work with police officers from Baltimore City, Baltimore County, Anne Arundel County, Maryland State Police. They're actually going to be housed together in one facility. So in a sense, you know, we've got relationships, but now we are moving in together. And in our view, that's going to help us uh, build big, significant investigations to go after the most violent groups in Baltimore City, the people who are really driving the most violence. It's going to help us build investigations and take out those groups faster and better. And that's a critical part of our violent crime reduction strategy. Was there a general statement you want to make before I get to a little Q&A with you? Sure. Please. Well, uh, just to inform your listeners a bit more, again, the um, you know people might be asking, well, what's new about this? What is different about this? We hear, you know, people like you and Commissioner Harrison and the State's Attorney Mosby uh, talking about how closely you all are working together. But uh, what's different about this? And what's different about this is the strike force model bringing together federal, state, and local law enforcement together in one place. This is a model that has not been applied in Baltimore before. This is something that's been done in 14 other cities around the country, like Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, Atlanta. These are cities that have significant uh, drug trafficking problems, significant violent crime problems. And the senior leadership at the Justice Department said, you've got a problem there, and we're going to bring this blended strike force approach to your city. So that's happened in 14 other cities. Baltimore is the 15th. So this requires a significant federal commitment. Uh, and this is a proven model that works. If you look at the history of the strike forces in those other cities, they bring time and again, they bring uh, cases where they're indicting 10, 20, 30 defendants. They're seizing significant numbers of guns off the streets. They're taking out groups in the cities that are responsible for a significant amount of violence. And uh, you know, for the better part of a year here, maybe for over a year, we've been looking at that and saying, we need to have that in Baltimore. We have a significant violent crime problem. We've got people dying in far too many numbers of drug overdoses, and that is a model that we should be applying here. So uh, I'm really grateful that the senior leadership of the Justice Department, who I make sure they're aware, and they are well aware, and they are concerned with the violent crime problem in Baltimore, thank goodness that they approved our application to bring this model here. Uh, but the first thing I was when I heard about this, what took them so long? I'm glad that you're glad, but what took them so long, yeah. sir? Well, it's a it's a great question, and uh, I wish it could have happened sooner, uh, but I'm glad it's happening now. So, uh, what these strike forces historically have been really focused on is trying to work up as far up the drug trafficking and the the chain as possible in order to get to the cartels abroad who are responsible for bringing the most drugs into this country. And historically, they have not really been quite as focused on violent crime. Thankfully, um, in response to what's going on here in Baltimore, the violent crime problem, thankfully, folks in the senior levels of the Justice Department said, well, uh, you know, this, this is an instance in which we can be flexible. We can say, we're going to send you guys a strike force, send you the federal support in order to set this up.